Hi guys, so today I will be showing you three different ways to create a shadow for your text whenever you're creating with your Cricut machine. I will show you how to do it in Cricut Design Space, in Adobe Illustrator, and in Inkscape also. So let's jump right in. First, we're going to start with Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go over to the text tool and type the word hello and just make it a little bit bigger on my screen. And then I'm going to change the font and I like the font Amelia and I get this font from defont.com. Make it just a little bit bigger so you can see. So now what I will do is to ungroup this text and then select the letters, um, all the other letters except the H and use the left arrow key on my keyboard to move them over so that they are overlapping. And just keep repeating this process. You can also just take your mouse and drag your letters over if you want, but this is just the way that I like to do it. So next I will select all of my letters and then click Weld. So now you can see that all of my letters are in one layer and whenever I cut them, they will cut as one single layer. So next what I want to do is to create some duplicates of this word, hello. So I'm just going to click the duplicate button a few times um, and just move all of these out of my way. And I promise this is all going to make sense in a little bit. So I'll just take one of the layers and then place it on top of my hello. And I'm going to place it to the left and right of um, the first hello. So this one I'll place a little bit more to the left or right. And what I want to do is to fill in um, the background. So I'll do this one. And I'll take this bottom one and change the color to blue. And then <clears throat> bring it up top so you can kind of see what that outline is looking like. So it's looking pretty good. So then I will bring it down some and try to fill in any holes that exist. Let me try it one more time. So that looks really good. Um, I do see where I could create another layer down here um, on the bottom of that H. So I will just move the blue out the way. Make another duplicate and bring it down just a tad bit. See what this looks like. Let me bring this right click and then click send to the front. And that looks so much better. So now what I'm going to do is to select all of those duplicates and then click the weld button. Now you may notice that there is a little speck inside of there. Um, you may or may not be able to see that. I will zoom in some. So there's a little white speck right there. So um, what I want to do is click the contour button and then click on that speck so that I can hide it. And you can also see there's another opening right there. I'm gonna click on that one too to hide it and then click the X button. So now, you know, everything looks pretty good. So I'll zoom back out just a little bit, right click on my blue and then click, oops, okay. Right click on the black and then click send to back and then bring this up. So this is what that process looks like in Cricut Design Space. Obviously there's no easier or simpler way to do it um, inside of Cricut Design Space. If you wanted to, you could you know, use an outside tool, which I will show you in just a little bit to be able to do so. Um, so this is how you create a shadow or an offset or an outline in Cricut Design Space. Next, I will move over to Adobe Illustrator. So again, I'm gonna click the type tool over to the left and then drag it across my screen and type the word hello. And then I'm gonna go back over and click the selection tool and then go over to my, late, to my right panel, my properties panel and change the font to Amelia. Again, I get this font from defont.com. 
Um, so next, what I want to do is increase the size of the font. 72, let's try typing in 100. So I'll just use these little blue lines to make it so you can see the entire design. So next, what I will do is to right click and then click create outlines. What this does is to change your text to an object. And if I zoom in really close, you can see that your text is overlapping just a little bit. And to fix that, you will use the Pathfinder tool. If you do not see your Pathfinder tool over in your right panel, just click window at the top and then go down to Pathfinder. So next, I will click the Unite button. And the Unite button is very similar to the Weld button in Cricut Design Space. So I will click the Unite button. And as you can see, um, your text has basically been welded together. So what I want to do now is to go up to Object, go down to Path, and then click Offset Path. And you can change how thick the offset is by changing um, this right here. You can also change it from um, meter or miter and change it to round. I always like to use round. And then I will click the OK button. So right now, you don't really know the difference between your offset and your actual text. So I will change the color to pink. And now you can see your offset in the background. Next, what I want to do is to click on my text, click the Layers button, and then click the arrow to drop down. And then I just want to hide my text by clicking on the I button. And then I will select my entire offset and make sure that it does not need to be welded together. And it does not, because if it did, the Pathfinder tool will pop up. So then I will just go back over to the Layers panel and turn on my text. And that is how you create an offset or an outline in Adobe Illustrator. So the last way that I will show you how to create outlines or shadows or offsets is in Inkscape. So first, what you want to do is go over to the text tool, drag it across your canvas, and then type the word hello. And I will just zoom in some for you. So then I will select all of my text and then go up to the font box and change my text to Amelia or change the font to Amelia. Then I'll click the selection tool. And then next what I want to do is to click the path button and then click object to path. And then I will click the path button again and then click combine. And I'll just zoom in a little bit more for you. So next, what you want to do is to click the path button and then click linked offset. And then what I'm going to do now is to just click the color pink down at the bottom. And then I'm going to go over to the right side and um, click on this enable snapping button. When I click it, it's going to turn it off. Um, if you leave it on, it will affect the way that you're able to um, create your outline or your shadow. So just be sure to do that. Next, what you want to do, I'll just zoom in a little bit more, is to click this little diamond shape at the top and drag it up. The more you drag it up, the bigger your outline will get or your shadow. And once it is where you want it or once it's how you like it, what you would do then is to click the selection tool. And then you will click on your uh, design, right click, and then click ungroup. So now your shadow is one layer and your text is one layer. So now just click my text and bring it down. Okay. And as you can see, there is a white hole that's left in my shadow. What I want to do now is to click on my shadow, go up to path, and then click object to path. Next, what I want to do is to go over and click this Edit Paths by Nodes button. And as you can see, you have all of these little nodes all the way around your design. If there are any nodes that are in the middle, like this one, 
Um, if you were to bring this into Cricut Design Space right now, it would cut that out of your design. So any notes that are in the middle, that's where your Cricut will cut. So you want to delete those. So just um, select those notes and click the delete or backspace button on your keyboard and just keep repeating the process until you have deleted all of those nodes that are within the inside of your shadow or your outline. Okay, so once you have gotten rid of all of those nodes, you can zoom out just a little bit. And this is what your final shadow or outline looks like. So I will just bring my text on top of the shadow or outline, and that is the end result. And obviously you would go through the process of saving this um, design um, to your computer wherever you want it so that you can bring it into Cricut Design Space. Of all the three different ways that I've shown you how to create an outline, shadow, or offset, whichever you prefer to call it, I think that Adobe Illustrator is the easiest because it literally happens within like the click of two or three buttons. Obviously there is a cost associated with Adobe Illustrator and I know that some people you know, don't want to pay that cost. So um, I guess my second way or easiest way to create an offset or shadow would be to do it in Inkscape. And lastly, I would use Cricut Design Space. Again, if you don't feel comfortable using Inkscape or Illustrator, obviously you could use, um, you could create your shadows in Cricut Design Space. So I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you all. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.